Hey everyone, Will here with my flea market finds for September 8th, uh, 2013. Had a really good weekend, lots and lots of yard sales to go to, uh, good amount of people at the flea markets. Uh, just had some really good weather and uh, getting near the end of the season and I think it's uh, driving some people to get out and uh, get rid of some stuff. I uh, had some really good finds, uh, let me show you what I got. Uh, for the uh, tree house, it's still under construction. Found another window, brand new in a box. It's a basement window, but it'll do for the uh, um, for the tree house. Uh, got a screen and everything. Uh, paid twenty for that. Got a Tiffany. You can't find Tiffany too often at uh, at a yard sale, but I did. Uh, Nice old bowl, um, Tiffany Holiday, Tiffany and Company. A uh, lady was asking 25 on this, and uh, I tried to get it for 20. She split it with me. I got it for 22.50. Uh, this is what I believe. I believe this is a um, carriage jack. Um, not sure maybe wrong on that marked goo brothers um has a date of december 1882 marked over here on the same way um york yorkshire Center, New York. Uh, couldn't find anything. Uh, did an internet search. Paid 40 for this. Bought it from a dealer. He said he paid 25 for it yesterday. Uh, so, and he tried to do some uh, research. Couldn't find anything. Uh, so I gave him 40 for it. And uh, my first quick look, I couldn't find anything. So I'm going to have to do a little more research into that. But, uh, at forty dollars into it, I don't think I'm going to lose any money. Kind of looks like a hundred dollar piece to me, just off the top of my head. Uh, Paps Blue Ribbon sign lights up. I guess it lights up. I haven't tried it out yet. Uh, Ten bucks uh, should be easy sell. Uh, check out the wooden boxes. I love old wooden boxes. Uh, this one needs a little help on the hinge there, but. You can see it's been made, it's all one piece of wood. I paid uh, 15 for the three. Looks like this one was made out of uh, a cigar, a cigar box. You can see the patina on the wood, really nice. And this one, what made it even more special, got a little uh, diary in this. Um, just filled with uh, from 1921. I uh, haven't read it or read or anything. Uh, see what uh, uh, Dad went to Lake Oakfield on number three. I guess that's the number three train. Is coming home tomorrow. Went over to Miss Daversoon and played something fiddle with Peggy. Uh, pretty neat. Have to look into that. But uh, it's a nice little treasure there. Um, for $15, it's a neat little find. Piece of uh, pottery. I believe that's McCoy. Sure looks like McCoy. Uh, paid three dollars for that. A uh, pair of uh, U.S. Army signal flags. Paid ten dollars for that set. Not sure what I can get. Uh, ought to be able to at least uh, get thirty or forty. Uh, bullet mold for a uh, round ball, and it's marked. They mark these things. Um, Sixty-nine caliber. Lots of guys still pull their pour uh, their own bullets uh, that was eight 
Goodyear tire ashtray, paid three bucks for that. Nice little advertising piece. Uh, took a chance. This is all sterling silver. Um, see the mark on the spoon there. And there's the uh, one sterling, 575. Uh, I hope that's right over sterling. Well, sterling was sterling at uh, 92.5%. Um, so, paid 25 for that, and it feels feels at least a two or three ounces there. Um, should be okay, even just uh, to scrap it. Got six lighters. They're all the same. Made by ATC. Uh, still new in a wrapper uh, from the USS Lafayette. Uh, paid five dollars a piece for the six, and that's an easy twenty dollars a piece. Um, so I'll get looking at at least hundred and twenty there. Probably put them in the store, start them out at twenty-five a piece, and uh, go from there. Got a uh, American Airlines glass uh, that was two bucks. A Trailways first aid kit had ten on it. Got it for eight. Uh, this is pretty neat. A nutcracker. Put the nut in there. Close it shut and uh, made out of heavy brass or bronze. Six bucks. Took a chance on these. Guy told me they were really good. They go for uh, pretty good money. Uh, paid fifteen dollars for these. These uh, Wallet. Wally um, Wally X eyewear haven't even looked them up uh, take a look at this somebody stayed at the Fister Hotel <laughs> and took the uh, directory of guest services uh, when they left um, don't know why they would do that I guess they wanted a souvenir um, so got this for five bucks and uh, I don't even know if it'll sell but it seems so unusual um, I took it that's pretty neat this is a uh, dart I believe they use these and uh, artillery guns I've heard about uh, rounds they call the uh, beehive rounds um, acts like a, a big shotgun um, for close-up work uh, they let these, uh, when they let loose, uh, uh, it's uh, hundreds of these go flying out the gun uh, like a big shotgun, and it sounds like a uh, swarm of bees. Uh, but you can see that would, uh, that would do some damage. Uh, bought this basically for myself. That was uh, three bucks. Uh, California Raisins. Uh, I know they were really popular there for a while. That's a bank. Paid two bucks for him. Whole box. I got 17 pieces of uh, green depression glass. Uh, paid $25 for the uh, 17. All of them seem really good. Um, it's a miracle none of them got chipped. Uh, got to look the pattern up, but uh, you know, it's a little over a, a dollar a piece. Uh, for 25 for 17. Got a uh, Royal Copley planner back there, Indian boy. Uh, he was four bucks. A uh, Davy Crockett planner. I uh, got him for four. Mark Davy Crockett. Uh, he was sitting in a uh, that's a Paula Dean cast iron pan. Got that for uh, three dollars. That's about a thirty dollar pan. Nice piece of glassware. It's unmarked, but I could tell it seems like it's got some quality. A nice little. Uh, uh, kind of like milk glass opalescence to it. Um, that was two bucks. A uh, Moose Lodge ashtray for a buck. Uh, three uh, Joseph Originals collectibles. I got the three of those for ten bucks. Uh, 
so two fifty a piece. Three DV DVDs, might try selling these. Uh, got the three for five bucks. Love the um, copper kettle. That thing is great. Really well made. It's got a mark on the bottom, but uh, can't. It looks uh, Arabic. Um, just a neat looking piece. Paid five bucks for that, and it's probably more than that in uh, copper alone. Uh, a couple books paid a buck a piece for them. Haven't looked them up. Here's uh, Elmer Gantry by Sinclair Lewis and a uh, book of Thomas More poetry. And it's signed in front um, Christmas 1988. Uh, uh, nice little uh, piece there. Uh, even in the rough condition. Um, so we're going to end part one here and we'll start up part two with the big table full of stuff.